set. 280. 50-50. And watch that. And watch the ball. Right, 50 Hey, hey, Roy. On first down at Stanford. And he finds Danny Amendola. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A good pick up there, a 22. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. A first carry for the converted wideout, J.D. McKissick. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. A shotgun snap for Stanford. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 40. That's another Detroit Lions first down. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 right at the 40. Hey, Delta. Pick it up, guys. Pick it up. From the gun, here's Stafford. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block if you're an offensive lineman. Nice early burst. Nice game, too. Monday, Monday, Monday. Watch the pass. Hey, 22. Watch the slip. Watch the slip. Throwing on second and three. Stafford. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. The sack by T.J. Watt, or as his mother Connie calls him, Trent Jordan Watt. After the sack, Stafford and the Lions come up on a third and long situation. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Out of the gun, Stafford. And he'll find Galladay, that's complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Set the tone, defense. Set the tone, defense. Let's go. They'll run it with Johnson. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? From back at the four, here's second and goal. Stafford. And the 
pressure gets to him and brings him down. Stafford is sacked. Cameron Hayward attacking off the edge that time. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. Couple of plays sent them the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. Operating from the gun, Stafford into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And I do believe this is going to line up a safety. It is. It's a safety. How about that for a wacky play? Wow, what a disaster. You talk about a guy making a good play on the interception and then just trying to be too cute on the return. It almost felt like his own gyroscope really got out of whack, didn't it? Going backwards into your own end zone after such a great play. Totally disoriented and gave up two points for his team. Agnew now to return. Let's go. Let's do The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else will flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play guy a question. <laughs> hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. It's a first down on a gain of 10. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Cameron Hayward in on the tackle. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. You run, Petrie. Hurry! 61, matchbox, light. On the ground, this is Johnson. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 11 yards there, first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Now on the heels of that run by Johnson, here's another first and ten. Now a handoff working right. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Hey, 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 hey. Mike, Mike, 55. Johnson. The linebacker Ryan Shazier there to make the tackle. He's brought down by Ryan Shazier. A gain of two brings up third and two. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory though if they're stopped. Second quarter action now from Detroit and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football. And they're driving but they come up on a third and short here. Set, 
Brady! Hey, D-Line, let's get in there. Let's get in there. Cut! They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Back deep for the Steelers, Ryan Switzer. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and ten at their own 20-yard line. First carry for James Conner. And an alley to run. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. That was good tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. He'll get that one complete to Connor. Call it a gain of three, and it'll make it second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Bravo! All day, dog. Now Roethlisberger to throw. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker Jared Davis. And they have possession and they have it at the 38-yard line. After the interception, here's Stafford. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that'll make this a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Now it's Stafford. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Call it a three-yard game, and that'll bring up a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. From the gun, Stafford. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Cameron Hayward able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack.
They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. That's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Switch, switch, switch. No foul. No foul. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The ex-Iowa Hawkeye, Mike Daniels, in for the sack. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Yeah, and that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. On second down, this is Edmonds. And for a second straight play, the Lion defense drops him behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of one, and they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Sean Melvin. And a terrific return there. They're finally able to corral him down near the 11-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. There to make the grab. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. Extra point good by Prater. And it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. A nice start to the drive, picking up 12 yards there and a very quick first down. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Right back to Connor here on first. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Second 
second and nine. Roethlisberger. He'll find Smith Schuster. That's complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. A three yard pickup. And it's third down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. On third down, Roethlisberger. This is Johnson. He's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. Never make the mistake that these slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't throw up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Switch up, switch up. Hey, alert, 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 alert. Hey, exit. Microphone phone. Group right, group right. 44, 44. Now Roethlisberger. And they get to him with a pressure as Roethlisberger goes down. Devon Kennard coming in hard there on the blitz. And he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. So the sack, and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. On fourth down, here comes the Steeler punter Jordan Berry to kick it away. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. And a nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air, and that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Well, what's the plan of attack here? Very late second quarter, and look where the ball is. Yeah, it's a bad spot for you. But the defense has all three timeouts. So what you're telling your team is ball security number one. It's not all on the running backs if you decide to run the football. That offensive line has got to protect up and wedge out some space because you can't just kneel. They take three timeouts. They're going to get the ball back in good field position with a chance to put points on the board. You've got to try and get a first down and run out this first half. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Hey, orbit. Operating from the gun. Stafford. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Sean Davis with a pick. And he's given his guys a shot for late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. Mike 40, Mike 40, 
After the interception, here's Roethlisberger. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Hey, 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 hey. Four down, four down, four down. Now it's Roethlisberger. And Big Ben intercepted a third time. Picked off by Jamal Agnew. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. The middle, middle, middle. Shoot, shoot, shoot. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's going to lose yardage. Not that it matters as the final seconds tick away. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Easy, easy. Shit, watch the ship. Hey, watch the ship. Watch the 44. Now Roethlisberger. That's complete to his running back, Connor. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Mike Daniels in there to get him. It's a loss of five. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. They were looking for Johnson that time, and it's third down. Roethlisberger. 
And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. On the return, here's Agnew. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Lions are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. On second down and four, Stafford. Open man is Galladay complete. Yeah, he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now a 10th carry for Johnson, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Stay 50, stay 50. Watch Twitch. Throwing on second down. Stafford. That's to his running back, Carry on Johnson. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They wanted it every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. Not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. Now Stafford. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Cameron Hayward bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Switzer on the return. And right around the 20, he'll head out of bounds. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. To Connor on the check down. 
It's a gain of five, and that'll make it a second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Four receivers to keep tabs on here. Three of them to the right side on second and five. Now it's Roethlisberger. Buying time to a slam. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Trey Flowers, the former Arkansas Razorback, in there to get him. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He was trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique, except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Hey, alert, 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 alert. Hey, box drop, box drop. Roethlisberger will throw. Throw left side complete. It's Connor. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. It's a game of First down, Steelers. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Back now at Ford Field. It's the Steelers with the football, but trailing here as we get going in quarter number four. Flushed out right. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off near the 34. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. How about the big boys snagging one? You don't see that every week. No, you don't, but a lot of them are just reliving their old dreams, going back to when they were in youth football and in That's high school. Lady. They didn't always play defensive Let's line. Defense. Some of them actually handled the football, and you can see the flashback when he grabbed that one. They begin the drive with Johnson. He's got a first down and then some at midfield, and he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. He'll get 17 that time, and the Lions have a first down. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. At the 48-yard line. from the gun, Johnson. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. The Lions on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and five. From the gun, here's Stafford. Throwing deep for Galladay. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. Despite the lead here in the fourth, they're still taking shots. Not content to sit on this lead at all. And to me, it raises the question of what's right in this game nowadays. Do you sit on the ball and run it because you have enough of a lead? Or do you try and extend it because you always feel like the other team can come back? Extend it. Have some fun. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Set, 
The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not at all, because we're talking about the NFL, and teams can score fast in this league. Quick strikes. You're right back in it. You're exactly right. Keeping hope alive. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. To throw here, Roethlisberger. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. They go play action here on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Sean Robinson, too much to handle that time, gets the sack. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Here's Roethlisberger. Johnson's got it complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 36. A gain of 27 on the play. First down, Pittsburgh. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 36. On first and 10 is counter. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Hey, Charlie! Watch the run, watch the run! On second and seven, Roethlisberger. And an alley to run! And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. Scrambling not particularly a Roethlisberger strong suit, but he does get the job done there and gets a first. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. He'll have a first down inside the 10. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. They'll run here with Connor, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Taking it in from four yards out. As they're now just an extra point away from getting back within one score. Boswell good with the extra point, as this gets them back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll 
bring it a few past the 20 to the 23 yard line. Here we go. Here we go. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. The safety, Terrell Edmonds, picks it. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter, turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. And he's going to be met at about the 43. The tackle made there by Jared Davis. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here we go, the here last we go. run okay. good for two. Here's second and eight. I'm coming for you, son. I'm coming out. Out, 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 out. Check three, check three, check three. Six, six, bullet high. Quarter, quarter. Hey, hey, hey. High seven. Here's Roethlisberger. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, this secondary has done such a good job of frustrating these receivers tonight. Another example right there on the deep ball. Sometimes when the sun goes down and it's just the bright lights in the stadium, there's a little extra spring in their step, doesn't it? And that's what we're seeing from the defenders. Doesn't matter whether it's man or zone, deep ball, short ball, and that was a deep one there. They're making plays on the football, contesting everything. The Steelers on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and eight. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. We got double up, double up. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Check back, check back. No foul. Mike 40, Mike 40. So don't say black with us. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 46. Trey Flowers, his second sack of the night. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. To the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Roethlisberger will stay out there, and they're going to go for it on fourth. The Steelers will go. It's Roethlisberger. Now a desperation throw deep downfield, and that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Lions will get the football back in terrific field position.
The first down carry here for Johnson. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Check 15, check 15. 11, 11. Mark 55, Mark 55. Here's Johnson. And an alley to run. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Inside the 30. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know. Well conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. The busy night continues for Johnson. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. And I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get him behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. Alert! On third down, Johnson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions, and they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot. Of, but now it's about taking the ball away taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Lions as we say so long.